Okay, last try on three, two, one, boom. And this time, this is what I'm going for. So, um, yeah, had a lot of fun experimenting with Yumiko leading Sasha and Alpha in the last game. This time I'm bringing Yumiko with the Assassin's Bow. Rick with his bizarrely powerful 2-2 Alexandria pistol that can cripple and has range over a 44 python somehow. Um, and McGaggy with the flare gun. Um, why? Why not? I just, I haven't done, I, I don't think I've done a three shooter run. I've got enough fully upgraded weapons and passable ammunition to be able to do this. Um, let's just go for it. Um, everyone's got that lovely additional range. On this particular... One, two, three. Yeah, let's leave you... Right, I think that you might be able to reach Yumiko if I don't do that. So let's do that. Um, on this particular one, there's not actually many enemies appear in each round. And they tend to be things like speedies. Yes, there's tanks and stuff like that. I'm just wondering, just wondering how this works out, basically. How does it work out if you have three shooters? And these seem to be the, uh, the, the ones to be. Obviously, a drawback is that you can, you know, only have so many shots. You know, they fire once, unless you have a charge attack, in which case you can attack twice. But with Yumiko and Maggie doing that, you, you, you're kind of getting more shots than you otherwise would. So, yeah, it just, it just seems like a fun little combo. So let's... Uh, Let's just see how it works out. Can you finish him off? Get a charge attack. Yeah, so again, not many enemies coming in on each wave. Obviously each... Do I keep saying obviously a lot? Each attack can only hit one target. So that's something that we're missing out with. You know, if you have things like assaults, you um, you can attack multiple targets. Hunters as well. That kind of is their strength. But each attack that we are landing is gonna gonna hit hard. So that might well that might well pay off. We can we can attack fewer enemies at a time, because we don't have any sort of area effect, if you like. You know, nothing that can have a weapon spread or anything, but we can cause more damage with each hit and hopefully get kills quicker. So does that balance it out? I'm not saying that it will, I'm not sure that it will, but it's, uh, it's definitely something fun to try. So far, so good. What are we at? We're at wave seven. We've got nearly 30... Uh, yeah, 30,000 points, didn't we? Last time, so I wonder how we do this time. Okay, we're starting to land those body shots. We do not like body shots. But hey, they happen. I've got the Huacha as well. So you might notice that Yumiko has got that support. Could be handy. It can set enemies alight. Let's, let's just get rid of you, shall we? I've been using it in a couple of games. I think it's more useful than Shiva. So Shiva can be handy because she essentially attacks everything that's on the board. But she causes very little damage. Maybe when she's a bit more upgraded, she'll be more useful. But as it is, as I've got her at the moment, she just doesn't really have much of an impact. Don't get me wrong, there's times when she comes in useful. 
there's times when she will finish off that that you know straggler walker that you were having trouble with but uh you know not not that useful being able to reliably set walkers alight that's that's a little different that's that's actually pretty handy okay i kind of want maggie to finish this guy off can we do that yes we can good 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 got those charge points saved How are we doing? We're, we're at a third of where we let, were in the last game. I'm kind of liking just, just sending these volleys of, of fire out at these targets like this. It's, it's definitely fun. It seems to be pretty effective so far. Got to consider the placement so that I can make sure that everybody is uh, is getting a shot in obviously without hunters and things the shots aren't going through the enemies which is you know it's it's nice to be able to do that that's something that we're lacking here but doesn't seem to be too much of a problem the fact that i've got two characters that can cripple targets as well very nice okay let's just let's just get rid of you shall we Oh, no, don't activate that just yet. Yeah, let's make sure that we're crippling you. Finish him off. Good, good, good. And we're ready for the next wave. Let's put you over here, just... Yeah, okay, so they did come over there. Let's get you up here, and I think we should all be able... Nope. Good, there we go. I think that the fire might take care of that guy next turn. Definitely happy to have the flare gun here. You know, it's like free damage, basically, when you set something alight. It's it's pretty handy. Definitely. Definitely taking more kills. Is there another one left? Yeah, I thought there was. I thought there was. Okay. That's that's okay. We, we've got to get rid of you, but I, I think we can do that. Well, look, there's just, there's no point in leaving those if we can use them. So certainly it could be argued, oh no, that was, that was too soon to use those. But, um, I don't think so. I think that's, I think that's pretty much about when you want to be using those. Okay, I kind of want either Maggie or Rick to get the kill there. Good, they did. Yeah. Using charge attacks because we want to get more guaranteed kills here. Yumiko, don't really want you any closer to where the other walkers are coming out than there. Okay. Yeah, finish him off. Obviously, I want to make sure that I'm getting charge points, but... Uh, not the only thing that's important yeah I mean I know it doesn't look like we're in a desperate enough situation where those barrels are needed but we're, we're just trying to make sure that we don't get into a desperate situation where they must be needed yeah I might regret not having them a bit further into the mission but if you keep waiting for the perfect opportunity to use them you just you're probably just not ever going to wind up using them so uh who do we want yeah i mean come on let's use a charge attack even with a charge attack you know he's still 
He's still standing, bless him. Keeping the piece kicks in, that's wonderful. Rick, can you finish him off? No, nope. Yumiko does instead, that's good. She needs a charge point anyway. Okay, we're starting just a, we're, we're a little bit close to where the reinforcements are coming in. Okay, that's go, that guy is gonna burn uh, to death on the next turn, so that's okay. I see the fire just, just causing a lot of problems there for them. Let's, yeah, let's do it. I want you to get really one of these specials. Okay, didn't set him a light. Doesn't always happen. Right, I think that the most dangerous character here is that tank, so let's do that. Good, stunned. And if we can, we wanna we wanna kind of set somebody else light. Okay, good, good, good. And they're closing in. Okay, we've got a couple of guys who are potentially just gonna burn to death anyway. Put everyone up here. Maggie, you there. Let's see if we can put this guy down. No, Rick did not shoot. Okay, that's, that's okay. Good, keeping the peace. Fantastic, we've got another charge point back. Can we set you, sir, on fire? No. But there we go, the fire took care of... Uh, took care of one of those guys. Can we finish you off? Close... If we move everyone over here, take this guy down here, are we okay? Okay, we're getting to that point now where we're not... Yeah, I don't want to move any closer there. We're not necessarily getting everyone landing hits. We kind of want to. Okay, he's stunned. Uh, Maggie, finish him off. Get a charge point. Oh, okay. Well, Yumiko gets a charge point. That's okay, she needed one anyway. Yeah, can we all please shoot this guy? Okay, Yumiko's out of range. Not a problem. We are awful close to where the reinforcements are going to be coming out. How are we doing? Wave 20. It's okay, I mean... Can we get a cheeky charge point by killing this guy? That might help. Yep. Yumiko does. Spikies, we all hate spikies, right? So. Okay, a lot of walkers coming in in that turn. A lot of walkers. I mean. That is nearly as safe. Somebody's getting bit. And it's yum yum. Sorry, yum yum. Oh. Yeah, I mean there's just there's there's just no two ways about it. We we're, we're we're not getting everyone out of there. Can we cripple these guys? Yes, we can. Okay. Cripple, good. And I mean, we're setting, you know, setting enemies light. That's, that's great, but I mean, we're just not. You know, that, that's not going to cause enough damage to really make much of a difference. I think, you know, I think we're going to have a speedy. Come on, just just get a shot. And that speedy was going to reach Maggie anyway. Let's just let her get a, a, a shot in anyway. Wave 22. 25k points. It's okay. Not as good as we did last time. 
I don't think that the three shooter setup is some kind of magic bullet that's um yeah you know some hidden mega tactic that hasn't yet been discovered or anything but it was fun definitely fun and yeah still pretty effective hmm anyway as ever thanks for watching